Good morning, my friends. Happy Wednesday. <clears throat> Everyone is well today. I'm excited to paint. I think I'm all set up. <clears throat> I always clean up my palette the day before just to be ready to have fresh paint for when I'm painting with all of you guys watching me. So it always feels good, you know. It's like having a clean house. <laughs> I love our fresh sheets. It's the best, having a clean palette with fresh paint. Some artists, like... Uh, like they'll just keep putting the same paint in the same spot over and over and over again and it builds up and it looks kind of charming to me but I don't know how you know which is the wet paint and the dry paint and I don't know it's just that would I would get that all over myself good morning Carolyn. how are you hi Audrey good morning Shelly so how's everyone doing I have been super busy I feel like I got through um, art show season and now all the things that I didn't have time to do. 5 a.m. Oh my gosh, you're up at 5 a.m., Gabby. Holy cow. Where are you? You said in Seattle. Bright and early. Although 5 a.m. is a really nice time of the day. I love 5 a.m. myself. I think I was painting yesterday by 5 a.m. Good morning, Ellen. All right, let me turn this around. Um... So it was a res resounding, is that the right word? Resounding vote that everybody wanted me to paint the, the pumpkins, which is fun. All of, all of them were good choices, but usually it comes out, good morning, Barb. It usually comes out that, um, I hate this thing here. I need a better solution than that. It doesn't look very nice because then I put this up on YouTube and you can see that. I always want to be able to film this sideways, but because I do it here on Instagram, I have to do it this way. Oh, you know what? You always want this oh, like that so that you can read the words and see what I'm doing. Is that better? Well, I'm probably going to start by mixing paint anyway. Hi, Anita. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Oh, how fun. Okay. So I'm going to start. I'm Mm, no, I'm not. I'm going to start doing my transparent layer. So I had this wild hair idea, which now I think I've talked myself out of it. But I had gotten these at market yesterday, and I thought I could do this in candy corn colors. But I kind of love this because of its like that. Oops, I must knock my coffee over. That would not have been. Good morning, Laura. I kind of, um, <clears throat> I don't know what I want to do. I don't know. I just, I started down that path. I actually got out some transparent colors and then I don't know that the visual would translate very well. So I think I'm going to, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I've been sitting here for 20 minutes and I have no idea what I was, what I was going to do. I liked how we did that. Last week I did that dark purple background and it really turned out neat. So I think I'm going to use, I got this um, color from Vasari. No, that's not the right one. Not Prussian blue. It's called, oh, here it is. Thalo blue, green shade. It's going to be a really loud, serious, dark color. And I think I'm going to do that as my base layer and then wipe out and then do my pigment sticks and then mix colors. Because I'm not sure where I'm going with the colors. I think, I think I know. But that's my plan. That's how I'm going to do it, I think. Good morning, Irma. Yes, I think it's going to be fun. Whoops, I didn't mix up my liquid, which I've been using lately. So I've been busy working on holiday stuff. I got, oh, let me show you before I get my hands all messy. Look, this you're the first to know because I didn't even, I have this on, posted on my website, but I didn't um, mark tell anyone about it yet. But my calendars came in. Like, I love it. I, I'm so excited. You guys helped me vote to do flowers this year instead of birds. So I just picked some of my favorite floral paintings from the year. And I am tickled with it. Good morning, Sherry. So these are up for sale on my website if you want one. And actually this year I added a little place to write things because people always want to be able to like just take a few notes like if you have a sitting somewhere of things that are going on that month. Or even if you hold on to it, memories of things that happened that month. Yes, yes, oh, that's right, I did the vote of that. That's the one that won, so that's what I put on the front. Oh, here's the little thing of what they're all. So I always get these printed at a local printer, <clears throat> and then I put the ribbon on myself and put them in a bag, but I like it better than the, 
I did one year. I think I did the spiral. It's just never my favorite. I don't know. There's just always feels a little, a little unsexy. I don't know. That's just me though. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay. So we're going to put this crazy color down. This is that, <clears throat> the sorry color, the, <laughs> I keep forgetting what it's called. Oh, well, you know me. Oh, it's the phthalo blue green shade. Phthalo blue is such like a, a dominant color, but we're going dominant today because everybody said they wanted me to paint these with crazy colors. So I'm in. I'll have to do the candy corn another day. Lots of time for that. So where's everybody listening from? I'm in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I, um, that, look good. that looks good. It's not as dark as I thought it was going to be. <clears throat> and I have to clean up my palette here a little bit. I, I <clears throat> didn't mix my liquid, and when you do, it comes out really wet, and then it, when I mix my colors, it'll bleed into it. Australia. What time is it in Australia? Charleston. I always want to go to Charleston. Seven Lakes, North Carolina. South of Fort Worth. Auburn, Alabama. Bowling Green, Kentucky. I think my college roommate might be there right now. Alberta, Canada. Her parents live in Kentucky. Whoops. This is just bopping around. Good old New Jersey. Atlanta. Hi, Megan. How are you? So I'm just going to, this is to map out where things are going to go, just so I have an idea of position and feel confident with my placement of things. I took this photo. My kids came home to take me out for my birthday last Saturday. So Alex and Danica were here from Baltimore, and they wanted to go to the pumpkin farm. It's near where I live. And um, I took this photo while we were there. I was wishing for more light, but we can kind of add that. I'm getting better at adding that without it being in the image. Hi, Jackie. Are you on your way to Florida yet? What day is this? Wednesday. Today you're going, right? <clears throat> and that's all dark in there. I'll just leave that the way it is. These are kind of medium. There's like a dark green pumpkin. I do like that keeps your eye kind of in the um, where you want it. So I might keep that in there. It's like charcoal. It's like a charcoal drawing, isn't it? I love it. Okay, I need a little bit of my coffee. Oh, this afternoon you're going, Jackie. Well, safe travels. Now I'll do my pigment sticks. That's always fun. Good morning, Dawn. Oh, and I also wanted to show you I got I got new phone cases. So a lot of you have seen I had my um this on my Society Six um page. It's in the links in my bio, but I have um, a lot of my artwork, not a lot, a few of my things, but this is my latest. It's one, I have this, I got an extra one, um, but isn't that fun? It's from one of my paintings. I, I scanned it in and whoops, put it up on the Society6 page. So if anybody wants to get one, they are added in there. Love that little space, being able to print my own stuff. It's fun. Yeah, Michelle, they're fun, aren't they? Okay. That's what I get as soon as I am finished with my shows. Then I get busy doing all the things I don't have time to do otherwise. Like I'm working on holiday stuff. Oh, and before I forget too, um, I just listed another class. I'm going to teach a class in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania at the Square Pair um, Gallery. Uh, I think it's the end of January. Oh, gosh, I forget when it is. I think it's the end of January. So that just went up on my website. I haven't um, 
told anyone about that yet either. But if you were thinking about taking a workshop with me, <clears throat> that would be a fun one to do because um, Cat Square is an adorable little town, cute little places to stay. And I'm going to do it on a Sunday and a Monday because that's when the gallery's closed. Um, it's a really nice space to be creative too, but Kent Square is adorable. We'll go out to dinner one night and the food's good and it'll be fun. So I want some of these to look cooler, like with cool colors and some warmer. Oh, here I already got it out. My one of my. I want you to come to East Texas. Well, if you figure out how I can do that, but like where where to have a class, I'd be happy to. That would be fun. I don't. I've never been to Texas. East or west. Um. It's a little funky looking, but that's all right. I said from the distance, what's it say? We see watching you lots of pink, pale lavender tones. That blue is perfect for poking through the cracks. Yep, it is. This blue, you mean? Oh, the blue in the background. Yes, it definitely is. It'll be fun to see what happens. I love like being spontaneous like this. Um, I'm always trying to do that more because I love the surprise of it. Like, you know, if I plan so much ahead that my painting will turn out just like I envision. I don't know. There's something that's not quite as fun about that. I don't know why. But I like the element of surprise. be fun for the I think I need it I think I did the gold the green the teal the blue I think we're good I think that looks like fun and doing that red in the background there that'll kind of push that back as that darkness. Okay. I actually don't know what I was just saying. Oh. Okay. Um, all right. Now I'm ready to mix colors. So I want like pale, cool colors. Dark. I'm going to do warmer in the background, I think, and come to cooler toward the front. All right. Let's put this down here. Sorry for the squeaking. Oh, I should whoop, move it over a little bit. Some stuff out of the way. I don't like when I have to move this, but that's all right. So if anybody's in my whoops inspiring art group, I have that today at eleven, and I'll be painting. I think I'm painting pumpkins again. Um, in colors, oops, I forgot to turn that light off. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The composition is fun, Allie. I agree. Happy Wednesday, Allie. All right, get my palette knife out. So I need dark greens. So I do a sap green out here. I think maybe for my dark green, I'm gonna put some of that, um, that blue that I was using. And this is like a dark brown to push that back. And then I want it a little more green. Maybe I'll put a little purple in there. Purple really always, violet, violet always pushes the color strongly um now i need to lighten that a little bit um i think i need a little yellow in there i 
got some funky yellow colors out. I don't even remember what they were, but when I was thinking about doing the um, candy corn idea as my colors in the background, I was looking for transparent yellows. But we'll do that. Maybe next week we'll do candy corn. Um, oh, what color is the blue and is it a transparent blue? Jackie, which one? This one. That was the one. That's one of our colors from, I keep picking up the wrong one, from Vasari. It's the phthalo blue green shade and it is transparent. Um, what do I want to do here? I feel like that dark, dark green is more blue. So I'm going to take the rest of that and put it in here and then lighten it a little bit just to see where, where it takes us. Uh, that's closer to what I was hoping for. Maybe just a little light, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, we'll take that and lighten that more. That's really pretty. I don't know that I necessarily see it in, in the reference image, but that's all right. That never stopped me before. <clears throat> all right, so those are good dark, dark greens. Now I need kind of more of orangish colors. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to take um, magenta and throw that a little with some Indian yellow. I might um, get some orange. This is cadmium orange. I try not to use the cadmiums too often, but every now and then a little cadmium orange goes a long way. So instead of trying to mix something like that. And I did need, it's a little noisy. I'm gonna desaturate it a little bit. I want it to be so dull. I want these colors to be kind of muted and quiet and um, not noisy. I don't know if a color can be noisy. I guess it can, right? But I want mostly light. So most of this painting is lighter in color. That's pretty. Um... Let's make that even lighter. Ooh, that's pretty. Those are nice fall colors, aren't they? Do make that a little lighter. And then I think I'm gonna take these and make them a little bluer. I will do that. Now I sip, need a sip of my coffee. What's everybody having today? Coffee, tea, Diet Coke? Oh, and then we kind of have a neutral grayish color underneath there. So I'm going to, um, yeah, I pretty much love this, but I'm going to take these and slightly blue them a little bit. Let's see how it looks if I... Ooh, isn't that pretty? I added, what color did I put out here? I added this color in there, this king's blue. That's gorgeous. I love colors like that where you can't quite, what color is that? Is that blue? Is it green? Is it orange? I love colors that you can't quite name. I'm going to do that with this too. Use what I have on my palette knife. Pretty. And then I think I'll do it with this. I love that color too. Oops, it's right. I'm sorry that it's in that light there. Whoop, that. Got really blue. I don't 
dislike it though. I think this is what I'm gonna play with in Inspiring Art today is mixing up colors and then honestly just, um, sorry that this cord thing is there. Like making color palette that has nothing to do with what I'm painting and letting it happen. All right, do you see anything else I need? I don't know. I kind of love those colors. I love this quiet palette. I think I'm just going to go with this. We can always mix something else up if I feel like something's missing. If we do, we all kind of do this together, don't we? Um, there we go. Everybody can see okay? <clears throat> yes, yeah, so I've been working on making ornaments for Christmas, like it's right around the corner. Usually like when you're working on stuff, you work on holiday in like July, but I can never even wrap my mind around any of that. It's hard to think about the holidays when it's not the holidays, but I was working on some bottle brush trees for some ornaments and I love how they're turning out. Um, I'm hoping to work on that a little bit more today. I do want to let these colors show through. Audrey says, every time I watch you mix colors, I learn so much. You have such an amazing sense of color. I'm always working on that. <clears throat> That's something I would like to explore even more. I love color, and I love learning about how colors work together and experimenting. And yeah, It's endless. And I'm carving in my dark... My darkest darks here. I could kind of push all this dark and paint over top, I guess, in there. Oh, I meant to tell you, I found your metal and glass ornament frames on Amazon. Do you need the link? Yes, please, Michael. I would love that. Yeah, I was having trouble finding them. So I have different ones that I was going to use. But I could always add to my collection. <clears throat> did you use the Vasari? I did. I did use the Vasari Shiprock, and I love it. I've been using that a lot lately. The Shiprock and um, this one. I love this one, too. French Raw Sienna Light Genuine. Because I got some more kind of browns and tans while I was there because I want to explore that in inspiring art, like painting with... with um, like browns and tans. I don't know why. I think it's just something I don't. I wanted to purchase that color, but wasn't sure. Yes, I love, I love it. I'm very, very happy with it. I think it, it will be a, a regular, whoops, regular on my palette now. Twenty-three. We're good on time. I don't need to hurry. Um, <coughs> I think I'm gonna put a little bit of shiprock out here. This down here, I could maybe use a little bit. I didn't really mix a color for that, but I could do that in a little bit of white. <coughs> cooler white. So, what's new with everybody? Hi, Susie. How are you? <clears throat> That's, um... Yeah, so they had these pumpkins all organized by kind, but this was these were overlapping some of the dark green. And um, a couple oranges in there. I don't even remember what I chose. Yeah, Alex and Danica got a lot when they were here because it's so much less expensive like to buy pumpkins in Lancaster County, I think, than it is most other places. I guess maybe they have to ship them. I don't know if that's why or not. <clears throat> I 
I love to paint pumpkins. Yes, they are fun to paint. I love like shapes like that. Um, and I just want to hint about, you know, some of the stuff in the background. I don't want to get too um, focused. I have orange back there, but that doesn't really matter. To clean my brush off. <clears throat> Like make that lighter than if I need to. This feels a little dark green in there. Look about where they overlap. <clears throat> Sorry, clear up my throat. Um, There's a little um, reflection of that orange back there. Hi, Allie. When did I miss there? Anita said, hi, Allie. More window painting for fall. Oh, Allie, that's fun. I love your windows and fall's a fun subject. Then you roll right into Christmas. Like, do you take, like, do the places that have you do that, like, are you already scheduled through the holidays? I would imagine you probably are. <clears throat> Let's put some darks in where the shadows are a little bit. <clears throat> Make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think so. <clears throat> um, just figuring out where my darks are. I can't put those lights in for a little bit, but do I see where I'm headed? It's a little bit of that shiprock color. It's very versatile. It's always a fun word, isn't it? I don't know how light I want. I do like that lightness down there. Maybe I'll do a little bit of that. A little wonky, but that's all right. Um, <clears throat> that's more toward orange, so more warm and more cool. All right, I'm having a sip of coffee and I'm looking at it and thinking about it a little bit. looking for any other darks that I've not paid attention to, like in here. Didn't go dark enough. I'm going to push that back from when it goes over top, so I could use a little more putting a little bit of those lines in just so that when I put the lighter color on top, it has more definition. <clears throat> I love the color you used at the bottom. Oh, thank you. That was just that ship rock color, ship rock, right? Am I saying that right? And I used a little bit of white in it. Um, I feel a little lost here. I'm not sure what I'm doing. But I will figure it out. Um, thinking about where my darker 
colors are. It's pretty fun. All right. I still might need to put a few more of those lines in them, sort of dancing around it. But I do like that definition. It's what makes the pumpkins look so pumpkin-y. And I don't know what these are called. I think, are these Cinderella pumpkins? I don't know my pumpkins, but I should. Sometimes I make pumpkins. I've done it for, I haven't done it in years, but I get the dried gourds and paint them with like designs. And I have a friend who is sending me pictures of hers in her home. And I think she's hinting that she would love to have some more of those. So I feel like I might have to run out to the pumpkin farm and do a little bit of that if I have time. Love doing projects like that. Um, yeah, I think I'm avoiding something here. I need to, I'm going to do the stems last. Um, just thinking. Hmm. Okay. Where it's more orange. Just putting down brush strokes and not fussing with them. So hard to do. So important. Um, so that's definitely more orange here in the middle. feels more blue down there. I love that some of them feel blue and some of them feel orange. That really looks pretty how those colors mixed right in there. When that happens, I always try to very consciously not touch that again if I can help it because it looks so neat. I love the blue background. What a fun idea. Yeah, it was fun, Allie. I always do try to push that, like, of doing things kind of unexpected to keep it fun. I like to have fun while I'm painting. So this is a little darker down here. Just do that to push that back a little bit. And I feel like Okay, I need a sip of my coffee. Oh, I see there's this little pumpkin back here. I just want to suggest that shape because that breaks up that dark color back there a little bit in the stem. That stem. All right, back into the pumpkinness again. Now that little bit of um, blue showing back there, that's a little too dominant, so I'm gonna cover that up. I think my eye was going to it too distinctly. 
that pumpkin's on top of this one. This needs a little bit of definition around the bottom here, a little darkerness. That helps it look round. Where with some of these spots here. It's getting there. Um, okay, now I'll go a little bit lighter and then I'll go a little bit bluer, I think. edge right there. What else right there? I like the blue showing through. But it might be a little too loud right now. If I do this, I can go still lighter on top. Ellen says, it's always fascinating watching you paint a little bit of magic. Yes, I'm trying to let the magic in. I do feel a little hesitant. I don't know why. It's always that leap of getting everything in enough that I feel confident that where I'm headed next is going to work. And I'm always kind of dancing around that spot in the painting. It sounds crazy, doesn't it? Like, I'm thinking, do I have too much blue showing? I know I do, because I'm going to go in and, and um, qu quiet that with my my colors at the end. It's that patience. I think it's the patience thing that gets the best of me sometimes. Patience is something I'm not good at. But something that art teaches me all the time. Um, this one's taking a lot of thinking. See, this needs to go dark right here, too. I'm missing this definition in here of the separation of this pumpkin's shape. And where this fades. This fades. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. This can go dark right in here. All right, do you think I'm soon ready for my lightest lights? 
And I have to remember to do my stems too. It's funny, this is one of those kind of bluer colors that I mix, and it really doesn't look terribly blue against um, how blue this background is. It looks very neutral, but I also want it to be neutral, so that's all right. saying they really pop out. I hope they do. We'll see. I like this bluer color over here too. It's kind of like really cool. What do we think here? Um, anyone said anything? I joined. I said, good. Glad you joined. Um, all right. Now it's time to go lighter, I think so. It is fun to see them evolve, isn't it? Like, how does that happen? How does that happen? Whoops. I'm fussing with that a little more than I wanted to. It's okay. Sometimes it happens. Jackie said, what beautiful color on that main pumpkin. And I love all those colors happening. I do love how that happens. I don't know how it happens, but it happens. Now it's coming together. It's that patience part of it. Oh, it's so hard for me. <laughs> Gonna have to go back and watch that ending as I have to get going. Have a great day, Jackie. Safe travels to you. Hope you find fun seashells. I like the greens in the middle. I do like how that looks. Um, all right, I need to do some of my blues. Blues are fun popping through. Oops, that's a serious little blob I did, huh? Um, I have a lot of paint on my brush here. Just soften that a little bit. It'll just take too long to dry. I like how it looks. It'll just take too long to dry. So those are more blue. Where else do I have more of the, like, kind of blues? That's pretty... Um, oh, 
I need this lighter green in here. And, yep, that did that. <clears throat> Time is at 8.45, we're still doing well. So I still have to do the stems and I still need more of my lighter orangish colors like did run out of white orange like in here. I only want to put lights kind of to the outside of this one. That, that got too, got a weird shape there. Because it curl, curves into darker on this inside part of this. Um, and this is dark down here. That's still a weird shape right here. That helped. All right. Um, something about this I still don't like right here. So I have to bend that out. That's fine. That did it. <clears throat> now that one's kind of an orange-ish. So let's... Um, it needs more lights. What do you guys think? I still need to do the stems too, but I can't do them till the very end since they really lay on top. Do I have enough um, differentiation of color? I do like the blues popping through. Is it too much popping through? I don't know if there is such a thing as too much. I do. I do love that color showing. Maybe some of my, I didn't do my lightest lights, but that could be part of my stem. You think I'm ready for stems? This is drawing my eye right here. I'm gonna smooth that out. So when I'm looking around at my painting, I'm thinking about like where my eye's going. Like, and, and is it a good place? Like I added this little light bit in there and that's too dominant. I'm gonna soften it a little bit because my eye was going to it more than I wanted it to. Even though it's really in my reference, that doesn't matter. Um, I don't like this blue showing right here, so I'm going to darken that a little bit in that area. Um, <clears throat> I need um, some more of my lightest lights, and then I think I can do the stems. Funny, that blue that I mixed really doesn't look all that blue. It looks very blue on my palette, but it doesn't look blue in the painting. Oh, I see this looks a little weird right there. I'm looking at it through my phone, seeing what you're seeing. too hard of a shape there at the bottom it was catching my eye okay so what did I just say I wanted to do you know I have no idea what I was just talking about um hmm. yeah that thought's gone it was definitely something I wanted to do with this Oh, it was this. This looks. There, that's better. And upper 
left side. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Audrey. How quickly I forget what I'm doing. It's ridiculous. Okay, I like that. I think now I need, I'm going to start to fuss with it too much, so I'm going to work on the stems. Um, I'm going to start them green. I'm going to just suggest them, and then I'll go in with a lighter color on top. This one's crazy, but I'll try and put that in there. This needs to come up there. in here. It breaks that color a little bit. All right, now I need lighter lights. Oh, what I need to do just this little, maybe it needs to be more blue in here. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. I like that transition of the blue to the orange there on the side really looks neat. I could do that just a little bit more of that king's blue maybe in here. Just this little, because it is very kind of dusty looking or something. Okay, I like that a lot. Now I need, work on my stems just a little bit more. All right, that's better. It wasn't hard enough to edged. And this one. Because that's good. That breaks up that dark center a little bit. Oops. This one. And this one. All right, do you see anything I'm missing? Is it, um, does it need to have any other lighter lights, lighter blues? Do I need to soften anything? Um, That helped out a little bit. Beautiful colors. Yeah, they are really fun colors. Maybe just a little bit of highlight. I feel like it's just a little bit too dark. I'm just going to put a few highlights in and then call it a day. Because I do love the colors. It is super fun. It needs just... Okay, I think that I'm not improving it now. So I always say that's when you should put your brush down and either walk away and come back or just be finished because I'm changing it, but it's not getting better. Oh. Sign it. Love it. Upper right side of main, not sure. Maybe softening to round out the heart shape. This. Oh, yeah, that is pretty dominant there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I see that.
I like the heart shape, but now it's better. That was that was too wonky. Something was wrong with that, wasn't it? And this could go just a little lighter and then make me stop. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so that was fun. There's my reference image. And then my painting. Let me see if I can get in tight so you can see some of the fun colors. And I started with the... Uh, um, the sorry halo blue green shade and then there's my palette I did mix a little bit of that shit what's it called <laughs> oh my goodness whoops now I'm getting this dirty the uh, ship rock and white for that bottom part down here but you still see the blue coming through so when you paint over top of a color like that like I love all those bright pops of color in there it's really fun. <clears throat> so thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I will um, save this and put it um, on my YouTube channel. I also have a list of my favorite supplies <clears throat> that I made. If anybody wants to see that, um, there's a link on YouTube. I think there's a link here on Instagram too. Also to my phone cases. If anybody wants one of those fun, fun phone cases... Audrey says, looks fantastic with just a few brush strokes. You solved it. I would have totally overworked it. Amazing as always. Yeah, it's that thing of being patient and then just stopping. It's, that's the trick for me anyway. I have a much harder time with big paintings like that one back there that I've just been avoiding like the plague, but I've been busy doing other things. So anyway, I will save this and I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you again next Wednesday. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me, guys. It was fun. Have an amazing day. Bye.